Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Let's talk about what makes a fire roll work. Over the years a lot of people have asked that question. That was one of my first questions when I first did it. And I've been unsure. All I've been able to tell people is a general answer of friction and a chemical reaction. But with the renewed interest in the fire roll lately and in the comments, enough chemically minded people have said that wood ashes are a catalyst and they support combustion. I'm gonna go with that. That sounds reasonable from what I've seen over the years. So then yesterday I showed you that instead of wood ashes, you could use rust. And you can kind of wrap your mind around that because there are like oxidizers in wood ash and ferrous oxide is rust. So but how do you explain what I'm about to show you today? Today I'm going to take this cotton ball and I'm going to fill it full of green mullen and get the ignition. And in this fire roll I will use the entire cotton ball because that helps wick away some of the moisture to leave the center dry enough to ignite and when the center ignites it can drive off the extra moisture. So. Let me get some leaves off the ground, and I will not make the same mistake I made last night. I will highly process these leaves, because it's probably going to make a weaker ember than rust or the wood ashes. And for safekeeping, I'm going to go ahead and put these particles and these finer dust particles in the tinder bundle. Alright, that should be ready to go. And Isn't that a beautiful leaf? After all this cold weather, it still looks that fresh. And I'll probably just use like a half inch by an inch. Half inch by inch and a half. Let's try it out. Dealing with this wind is always aggravating. Notice all the moisture coming out of it. Now I'm going to turn it 180 degrees so that it won't get so tight that it'll snuff what ignition we do get. don't see smoke go back and roll it some more now what I see there might just be steam so you really got to give it a chance to off gas before you know if you have ignition now, I know a lot of people like to tear into them thinking that they will be supplying oxygen to it but uh, I never tear into them unless it's the last resort all right, since my first try didn't work, I want to go down on the size of the mullen leaf from half by inch and a half to half by inch. Um, I'm, I'm not going to flip it 180 degrees, and I'm going to do preheats, which are just multiple amounts of forward strokes to get this on the verge of igniting, and also it'll drive off more of that moisture, and I think that's, that's how we'll make it ignite. Half inch by one inch. And 
usually 20 or 30 preheats is enough. I'll know when I get to that point if I need to do more or not. Just go with 20. If you don't see smoke, go back and roll it some more. Isn't that amazing? A green mullein leaf will ignite in the fire roll. And it could still go out. Depending on how much moisture is still in that cotton, it could still go out. So, let's just baby a little bit. Let it drive off more of that moisture and get a good hot ember. So I'm glad that I have some highly processed leaves because you see how weak this ember is. dealing with all that moisture. I really don't like to tear them apart. You know, a lot of people, and it makes sense, tear it apart, let more oxygen get to it. But I really like to let that core temperature work its way to the surface. So now we definitely have an ignition. Let's turn it into some flames now. All right, y'all, do me a favor. Before you leave my channel, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And in that drop-down list, select all. And do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.